Hello everybody, a warm welcome to today's video lecture. This is the first of videos on the mathematics being taught in class 6. And the first topic that we will be dealing with is enumeration. Now, in arithmetic, we have seen that all the numbers that we use are expressed by 10 symbols. That's why the number system that we use is known as decimal system, decimal instead. Now, what are the 10 symbols being used? They are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0. And as you can see, as it is written on the board, these 10 symbols, they are known as digits. Now, although they are digits, they are numbers on their own right. And the numbers that they represent, or the intrinsic value of the numbers that they represent are what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0. Now we can express all these numbers written in blue using the digits listed above. But if we need to express numbers greater than 9, you see, using these digits, which number, up to which number I can express? I can express a maximum of 9. But if I need to express numbers greater than 9, such as 10, 11, 12, and so on, I need to place these digits side by side and then express them. Now, how they are done? Since there is no board space, I will take a brief interlude, allow you some time to copy, and then I will return back to how these 10 digits are used to express all numbers in the universe. Hello everybody, welcome back after the brief interlude. Now, if we want to express a number greater than 9, we need at least 2 digits. So, any number consisting of 2 or more digits, how they are expressed? Well, they are expressed using the basic 9 digits, but by placing them side by side. And this process of placing digits side by side and using them to express numbers, this process is known as enumeration. Now, in the process of enumeration, the value of a digit which is used to express a number, actually it doesn't only depend on its intrinsic value, but rather on the place where the digit occurs. In order to clarify this statement, let us use a very simple concept. We have here a number consisting of three threes. Now all these threes, they express the same intrinsic value, that is three. But, as you can see, the three on the extreme right, being represented by green color, it represents a value of three. But, as we hop over one place to the left, coming over to the three, being expressed in black, this three actually expresses a number. 10 times greater than itself. So we see that this 3, or we say that this 3 is in the tenth place and expresses a value 10 times than itself, which is 30. Similarly, hoping further to the left, this 3 expressed in blue expresses a number 100 times than itself. That's why this 3 is said to occupy the hundreds place. And if we had a 3 again further to the left, it would have expressed a number 1000 times than itself or 3000. So as you can see that although these 3 threes they have the same intrinsic value, but because of their position that they, that they occupy in a number, their value changes. Only the one ex <coughs> on the extreme right corner, that digit expresses a number equal to itself. But as we move successively to the left, the value of the number being represented by a digit increases 10 times successively. So, this was actually a short video and I think many of you 
are already familiar with this, but still I wanted to do a quick recap and so that you don't so that you can bring your old concepts to the to your memory. So with this I would like to end my today's lecture and in the next lecture we will be talking about the traditional number naming systems in Bangladesh. So with this, bye bye for now, see you next time.